Hello and welcome to this introductory uh, video on Google Sheets. As you can see I've logged into my Google Drive. In order to create a sheet I will click the new button followed by Google Sheets. And that's all there is to it. In this video we're going to take a very quick tour of the layout and in future videos we'll look at the various options from the various menus. Okay, to begin with you'll notice there is a an icon in the upper left hand corner, clicking on that will bring you to Google Sheets Home. This is where you'll find any templates you might want to access, but generally you're better off working in Google Drive. Okay, this is the spot where you will name, name the particular sheet that you're using. You have your main menu here and your main toolbar. As with most things Google, this toolbar is not context sensitive. So in other words, unlike Microsoft Office, as I click through my menu options, the toolbar does not change. These simply represent uh, what Google feels are the most common and useful tools that you'll want to access most frequently. Now, depending on context, they may change slightly, but that's based on what's selected down in the main body of the document. The upper right is a typical layout. There's the button to allow you to sign out or to add another account. There's a button to allow you to share this document with, with other users so they can either view or collaborate or comment. There is a button for comments, which is similar to this. However, if you click comments here, you can either add a comment or you can go to your notifications or change your email notification settings for the document. So if I were to click on that, right now I'm getting notifications for all changes in, in, in my um, this particular document. I can change that to only changes I make or to no notifications at all. If I do want to make a comment on something, I can click here and it will bring up my comment box. Just know that that's also available to you in the toolbar here and it's one less click if that's what you want to do. In the lower right hand corner is the explore icon. When you mouse over it, the word explore will come up and opening that up will bring the explore window. Okay, there's a try it out link here and what that's going to do is it's going to offer to give you a sample file. So let's make that copy and we'll put it in my drive for me. And it's a sample file of data. And now when I click Explore, it's going to bring up all sorts of suggestions about my particular data, like the most frequent winner, the correlation of teams and matches, the average matches. Um, to be honest, this is something I would probably go through and do myself. One thing that is useful, it does give you some quick formatting options. It shows you some... Um, analysis, various different graphs. So the advantage is that it's very quick and easy to use. The disadvantage is um, that at least initially you don't have a lot of control about what it's actually analyzing. So it's, it's up to you whether you use something like that or not. It's, it's a preference for sure. Okay, down in the lower corner you're going to see that in this particular file we have one sheet but we do have icons here, the plus sign in particular, to add an additional sheet or more. And we'll get into all of this. There's various things that you can do. You can uh, delete a sheet, which I'll do here. You can duplicate a sheet, which I'll do with a sheet with data. Now you can see that there's two copies. Um, we can copy it to, meaning you can take that sheet itself and copy it to you drive independently. As a separate file. Um, you can rename the bottom here. So right now it says copy of World Cup. So if I say rename, I'll just call this Word World Cup 2. You can change the color of the tab if you like. That helps you in your organizational process. It gives you that nice little color bar down at the bottom. Um, protect sheet, you can do this in another area as well and we'll look at it there. You can hide the sheet so that it's not visible along the bottom and then you can move it left or right etc but you can also do that by clicking and dragging here. 
This is another way you can move between sheets, although I find it just much easier to, to click in most cases. Okay, that concludes a basic tour, and in subsequent videos we're going to look at different file options. Uh, generally with Google I do an overview of the menu, but in this particular case I think what we're going to do from this toolbar is I think as we address things in the menu we'll point out what also exists on the toolbar itself. Okay, because I, th I think in this particular environment that's a little more useful.